Thank you, Cess, for that lovely introduction. Leaders of Elite 30 Advanced Toastmasters Club and members and leaders from other parts of the district. A very good morning to all of you. And it's my pleasure today to talk about brand compliance, a passion of mine. One of the guests here mentioned that he finds Canva difficult. Canva itself is not difficult. My advice to all of you all is if you all are spending a lot of time creating posters, you're wasting your time. Toastmasters has provided us all of the assets that we need to create content, to maintain the branding, to maintain the guidelines. I'm going to focus on the brand manual, the brand portal, the assets that we get, how we should use those assets and how to get those elements into our Canva design. So Canva should be as simple as possible. And what are the things that we need to avoid? Why we should keep the brand promise. The focus of today's session is more about what is branding and how we can make it easy for us in any software, whether it is Canva, whether you're using PowerPoint, that is actually not that important. It's understanding branding. That's why my title of the workshop is Brand Compliant Posters. I have an interesting exercise for you all. For this session, I created this poster in Canva on a scale of uh, 1 to 10. What is the score that you will give me for this poster? 6. Oh, somebody even gave me a 7. In fact, I have deliberately created a poster with a couple of mistakes. And I would like you all to put in the chat, how many errors can you find in this poster? I have a lot of messages, baby in picture, Craig, you're right. Logo to the left, fonts, date is not visible. And that's very important. There is not enough contrast between the font and the background. And so the date, 16 July 2021 is not visible. Even the text create brand compliant poster that is in black over a dark color that is also considered as not contrast enough. You need to have a contrast between what you write and what's the background. Too crowded. Too crowded is not a brand compliant issue. That's a design issue. That's an aesthetic issue. Elite 30, that font, Elite 30 Advanced Toastmasters is an invalid font. You are correct, uh, Farid. First of all, this element you can see here. Now, this is a element from the older brand manual that we had this raise elements. Now, if you go to the brand portal, you will not find this element. So if you have this old elements, uh, do not use them. Just go to the brand portal and find out what are the latest elements that we can use. So there were two problems here, the background or the element and the placement. There was not enough space. But even if I place it like this, the problem is this element is an older element. Here there are two problems. The red color is no longer brand compliant. It used to be at one point, but it isn't anymore and also the font is wrong. The art, this is not acceptable because we cannot use arts and illustrations. This is not acceptable because this is an image. Even though it seems like it's okay to say it's in line with a theme, but no, we can't use images like this as part of our posters. We can't use pictures of babies. And here, this is not contrasting enough. So perhaps you could convert it into black so that it is visible or one of the darker colors like this and similar thing is here so maybe you could change it to a lighter color yellow or white that is the introduction for the problems that we saw in this but the question is how do we correct it so let's see how we can now look at this by fixing this poster and creating a poster that is fully brand compliant and what are the things that we need to look at when we do that first of all let me make a copy of this so that we can uh, start working on it by looking at the different aspects that are available in this design so the first thing that we want to look at is the background of this by the way do you all think that the background is brand compliant that i'm using you all have not checked out the new brand manual we had an update a month ago where the brand manual has changed and now there is more creativity more flexibility in creating your content and really the background that i used 
is a brand compliant background and you'll say what we have only these three colors how can we say that it's a brand compliant uh, background what they have introduced in the new manual is the use of gradients so as you can see i have used this cool gray gradient we also have something called a maroon gradient and we have also something called loyal blue so three different gradients are available for us to use and let me show you how each of this would look in your poster let me actually start with a blank page so we have now the ability to say my background can be this or maroon or gray any of these three colors color codes you will find them in the brand manual so we have this 004165 which is the loyal blue we have the true maroon which is 772432 that's true maroon and we have something called a cool gray so these are the three primary colors you can use as background of course you can also use white as a background because white is a neutral color if you are printing it for example it's always better to have white as your background because it's clean and therefore you will save ink if you are printing it never use black because first of all if you ever were to print black your entire printer will get over by the time you print three or four copies yellow also shouldn't be used as a background because it is uh, a accent color it's not a primary color so the primary colors are blue maroon gray and white as a default color so that's how you can set up your background but now we have an ability to also use a gradient and the gradients you can do by going here in canva in elements if you scroll down and you find something called graphics search for gradients so basically we are talking about elements graphics and gradients and if you click on the gradient you will see all the possible gradients available to you the only gradient from this list that you can use and in fact if you look at the name it will show you this is a square gradient and it is recolorable that means you can change the color once you bring it into your design so when you place this gradient on your design you can it will give you the two colors to choose from so let's say i want the first color to be something let's say maroon and the second color is a lighter maroon and this is actually an acceptable or a brand compliant gradient that we can now use in your design and it looks cool if i was to change the color of this gradient from the first color to be let's say silver color and the second color by clicking on the second color i change it to this one this gives me this beautiful gradient and in fact this is my favorite gradient for all my new designs as you can see i love it you may ask me but kaji what are these two colors never mind they are all available for you in the brand manual that means the first color for blue you should use 00 let me make it big so that you can see it properly so if you were to use the blue gradient you have these two colors 004165 and for the lighter one it's 006094 similarly if you want to use the maroon gradient this are the two colors you should note them down in your book because you'll use this all the time and similarly when you want to use a cool gradient you will use this two colors so that is how we can use the gradients now in your design as backgrounds that is totally brand compliant once you do this the best thing is to click on this button here lock so that the element becomes locked so that it doesn't move while you place other things on your design so we have this one so our gradient the background is fine next let's talk about the logo all we have to do is again as i was telling in the beginning let's not waste our time finding things here and there your landing page all the time should be website toastmasters.org any material that you want to make sure what's the latest material available to me what's the latest guidelines always click on this resources button click on the brand portal that should be your home for everything related to design including your brand manual so you'll find it here and you'll also find logo and design elements and this is what we want right now so as you can see 
these are the only elements that we can use now if you had elements from the previous manuals as i said like for example this element it looks okay but this was okay before but not anymore because this element is no longer available in the brand portal download the logo from here so let's say you want the color logo i always advise png not jpg because png is the higher resolution color so if you click on the png you get the logo and to take logo from the brand portal into canva is so simple you can simply right click and say copy image then go to your canva let's say you want to place the logo here press ctrl v and the logo magically appears on your design and then you can resize it place it wherever you want of course if you place it here you already know this is wrong because we need to have space around the logo there should be what we call breathing space next let's say i want to put this elite 30 advanced toastmasters so rather than typing it again let me just copy it from here the copy is Control c and let me go to this slide and say Control v here the first thing that we want to fix is that the color is not the right color what are the acceptable colors i could use the loyal blue it's fine i can see the contrast i can read it clearly i could use the maroon could i use gray of course not because i can't read it there is not enough contrast can i use yellow i don't advise it it's very difficult to read can i use black yes we can what about white no so these are the colors of from a brand portal the primary colors you can use any of them including black and white and the yellow but make sure that they are readable so let me go with uh, maroon the second thing is the font the font is not right to understand what are the fonts that we can use let me again go back to my brand manual so these are the fonts that are available for us we can use gotham and we can use myriad pro okay so these are the two fonts which are considered as toastmaster fonts both of this by the way are paid fonts it's not within our budget to buy this font and by the way the real myriad pro fonts are very expensive something like thousand dollars similarly gotham is a paid font of course there are clones there are copies if you are using windows uh, software or microsoft uh, powerpoint you can download what we call clones copies of this they look similar and there is no problem but in canva we don't have this fonts we don't have gotham we don't have myriad pro so what is our solution or what is the option for us is that we have something called free alternatives and because we are a non-profit organization free is good so the free is montserrat as the free version for gotham instead of using myriad pro we can use so sans pro and both of these are available in canva i have to choose one of those so if i click here and i say montserrat i type the word montserrat and we get different versions montserrat extra bold montserrat bold montserrat classic all of this you can use no problem let me try montserrat semi bold all right so this is the font i can use so color is fine the font is fine we are ready to go this of course i cannot use because this is an illustration we are not allowed to use that this is okay together we grow together we learn i can just copy it here control c control v i don't want to waste my time typing it all over again let's bring this one the date as you can see the font is montserrat so it's fine let me paste it here so we have the theme and the date of course we can put a lot of other extra things but i want to keep it very simple and quickly show you where we reach with brand compliance maybe you can resize it but all all of this is so far good it is contrasting enough it is uh, brand compliant font and we are good so far i can't use this image picture of a child not allowed i can use this one no problem let's say the name dtm says it is in source sans pro that is fine i can use that let me use as it is and finally the facilitator of the day as you can see the font is not brand compliant it says the font here is gagalin it's a it's a fancy font but we don't want fancy font we want maybe source sans pro 
And to do that, we can type the name of the font here, so Sans Pro, and select it. And so far, we are good. You can make it bold, you can make it uh, italic, all this is fine. I will bring this as it is, not a problem. And again, I can see that the font is so Sans Pro, it's fine. The color I can change of the text or the background. Everything is so far 100% brand compliant in this poster. All we are left now is the image. Your choice of images should be like this. First, find images from your club. This is an example of some of the photos that I used to take when we used to meet in person. So these are the best images that you can put in your poster because you're showcasing your club, your members, and they are in that environment that Toastmasters encourages, engaged and committed. So this is, in my opinion, the best images that we can use while creating your posters. If you don't have access to images like this, your second resource should be your brand portal. So again, if you go to toastmasters.org, go to resources, go to brand portal and look at professional images. So this is where you can go and pick up any image from the Toastmasters brand portal and there are several hundred i guess images that we can use all of these are the ones that really convey the toastmasters brand if you don't have your club images second is this option and the third option of course would be to find images within canva itself so here if you look at photos canva provides lots of free images that you can use Try to find images that would convey Toastmaster principle. For example, I think this is fine because this is similar concept of engagement, networking, communication. Uh, some of them might be not free. If you are using a free version of Canva, it will ask you to pay. If they are free, you can use them. I always prefer to either use my club images or to use Toastmaster images. That for me is the best way to start creating brand compliant content. And now this is 100% brand compliant. It might not be aesthetically pleasing. Uh, there are a lot of work to be done, but that is your responsibility as a designer to decide how it all looks. But all the elements that I placed in this poster now are 100% brand compliant.